Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Crafty Beer Reviews. Today I am joined by my good buddy, Average Joe of the Beer Patrol. And we are reviewing a very special beer. This is from Wicked Weed. This is their Pretitions. This is essentially a Britannomyces Saison. They're using fresh local malt from Riverbend Malt House in North Carolina. Now, what's even better, I've been sitting on this beer for over a year, so... Hopefully, we've brought the funk tonight. Put the cow up in the beach. That's right. All right, baby. So, I'm excited to check this out. I am as well. Oh, man. That smells awesome. I get, like, some white grape, like a Dude. white, like, grape musk kind of thing going it on. It smells almost. like it was white wine barrel aged, some kind of white wine. Yeah, it almost has, like, a Riesling kind of note going on yeah. in there. There's definitely a musty kind of funkiness in there. I get like a little bit of lemon citrus, maybe a bit of orange in there too. Oh, wow. It's definitely more of that kind of fruity funkiness, not so much of like the big like horse blanket or, or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. It's got a little bit of like a wet hay kind of thing going on too. There, there's, there's, I'm actually picking up a little bit of tartness. I know bread doesn't typically impart tartness, sourness, but yeah. I'm still getting a little bit of it. I almost got like lemon zest, lemon peel, lemon lime orange, all kinds of citrus going on. Everything but grapefruit, believe it or not. Like yeah, everything but grapefruit, yeah, exactly. Maybe even like a little bit of um, mm. like a stone fruit. I'd say this is a apricot or peach, but something, kinda, something about it. Yeah, I kind of like that, kind of like that. But the, oh. fun, the fun kind of dominates, I mean. And it's almost like a tropical fruit kind yeah, of thing yeah, yeah, going yeah. on, vaguely. Like, <laughs> now, this doesn't matter in the least, but like when you let me smell the bottle cap, it was all fruit. Yeah. Like, it was just all fruit. Um, obviously, the nose on this is not all fruit. So. No. It smells really good, though. Here yeah, you dig, dig in. Sure. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, wow. Man, that is, like, crazy. It's, like, white wine, white grape skin Paris. kind of thing going on. Pears, like a green, I get like a little bit of like a green apple in the background yeah. for me too. It's a lot of like white fruit in this. Yeah, wow. Wow, that is good. Mm. It's so easy drinking. Like, there's not a ton of funkiness in all honesty. It's good no. Take the flavor, like there's a little bit of funk. But it's all but like, it's like a light funk. It's nothing yeah. crazy. It's nothing, it's nothing like, again, like horse blanket or anything. I get like a little bit of like a wet hay kind of. Very lightly. I'm getting like a little grassy, herbaceousness type of thing going on. Like it's very like an herbal character. Yeah, like an herbal character, maybe even you know. You know, it almost tastes kind of like an, an Earl Grey kind of tea vibe going on. Yeah, there's a bit. there's like an earthiness to it. Like there there's like a, as fruity as the nose was. There's yeah. more like earthy flavors, herbal, yeah. floral, earthy type of thing going on, um, which I'd imagine the bread is a part of it. Anything. Absolutely. It's got a really light body, a crisp, clean type of mouthfeel. It's slightly creamy, a little bit coating. Oh, dude. And then that bread has dried it out. It is like, it finishes very bone dry. dry. It's very dry. I, it's gone to work considerably, so. The, the mouth the mouthfeel is like surprisingly so like creamy. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say that the body's viscous or even like, it's not like, you know, even medium full, kind of like medium body, but like no, the creaminess no. reminds me of like, maybe they're using like oats. I don't think they are, but like something to like, the, I think they may the, have been using wheat, actually. They're yeah, they're yeah. using wheat. They're using well, wheat, that, so. would, that would, that would, yeah, be that. That's Absolutely. kind of what we're, it just, it has a really nice mouth feel to it. Um, I'm almost getting, like, for something that kind of sticking in my head right now, it's like a lot of, um, like, the core of a pearling. Like, eating a pairing and down to, like, the core of it. Yep, it's almost like, it's almost like the pith of, like, several different fruits. And there's like a little bit of mustiness in here. Like what fruits? Like, like the green, the green apple, the, the pears. Lemon. It, 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 just a lighter light. fruits that aren't like it's very super very, flavorful. Yeah, but. absolutely. And there's a little bit of effervescence in there, well, like a slight kind of tickling carbonation. But but this it, is I'm almost phenomenal. Like, like you didn't like I got to pour like fucking twelve ounces in there. Oh, but but it, I'm almost done with it. And um, yeah, this is really really good. Again, like, kind of like the last beer we just did. The, the drinkability is just off the charts. Like. It is. This is perfect for the warm weather. Like Nothing in Ohio, yeah, oh it's yeah. warm, and this is like perfect. Or in Buffalo, sure. The humidity is a piece of shit. Let's just be honest. Like yeah. This kind of you 
We're gonna turn off there. That's cool. It's gonna it's fuck right. up here. It's all right. It's all right. Whatever, baby. It's the air, the air is like it's like 11:30 p.m. Ethan and shit's hopping, baby. I don't know what happened. But yeah, no. Exactly. I, I just think it's like fresh. Um, uh, uh, refreshing. Yeah. Yeah. Crisp, clean, refreshing. No flavors really linger. The nice dry finish makes you want to take a nice sip. Absolutely. And like you could. You could, you could. Well, if, it wasn't, if it wasn't a 500 milliliter. Yeah, like you could crush a couple bottles of those and just like, you know, out it by the pool or just hang it out on the patio or just in the, you know, midsummer day, I think. Yeah, and the bread, after a year, it went to work. I never tried this fresh, but it, it's got bread written all over. In terms of rating, man, what are you thinking? Probably give it like a, on, on your scale, like a 9.1. Okay. My scale a ninety one, so an A minus, five point scale four point two five, yeah. ten point scale eight nine. Nice, nice. For me, I'm actually going a little bit higher. Yeah. I'm going a nine point three on this one. Nice. I'm really digging it. This year in particular, I've just been all over bread beer since it got to be summertime. It's a great saison. You know, a lot of fruit in the nose. There's a little bit less fruit in the actual taste, but it's bright. It's refreshing. It's slightly funky. It's just, it's an awesome beer. Wicked Weed continues to impress me. This is no surprise whatsoever. I, I was going to say, Wicked Weed, I mean, I, they know what the fuck they're doing. Plain and simple. Um, Absolutely. Red beers can go... <laughs> I mean, keep this a few more years. There easily. are so many ways it can go. Yeah. And just like right now, I don't want to say it's on Prime, because you know, a year from now it could be even could, better. But yeah. like right now... It's drinking, it's drinking great. extremely well. Like Absolutely. It's, Absolutely. So if you guys have had any Wicked Weed beers... Let us know down in the comments. I think that is for this beer review. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Go check out this guy's channel. Doesn't exist yet. It will. But it will. It's it will. Like maybe. It and remember, I hope whatever you're doing, you know, it's good craft beer, right? I'm Cheers. Oh, man, some right? shitty macro beer. Yeah. What? Probably not.